What's up guys, Lore here. Today we're taking a look at just the tip of survival craft. Yeah, guess what this is. If you guessed a Minecraft clone, you are correct. This is in fact a pretty much, from the looks of things so far, pretty much a straight Minecraft clone. Now, why am I bothering with a Minecraft clone? Well, first of all, uh, it is available on both Google Play and Windows Phone, incidentally. Uh, it's $3.99 on both platforms, which puts it at half the price, well, almost half the price, of, uh, little, excuse me, a little over half the price of uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition. Uh, secondly, I've really never been too impressed with the Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's been pretty far behind uh, the development of actual Minecraft, like just way, 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 way behind. There's a few added in features that I'm sure I'll get to here in a moment in Survival Craft that they've added on to the basic idea that uh, they, they're intriguing. They actually seem pretty cool. Um, you guys can see a few of the things that are flipping across the screen at the moment. By the way, it really desperately needs some title music, but doesn't have anything. Uh, but the other thing that really made me want to poke at this a little bit and sort of impressed me coming out of the developer here uh, was this paragraph in the description on the Google Play Store. It says, um, Survival Craft was inspired by Minecraft and owes much of its success to it. If you like this game, out of the respect for the creators of Minecraft, we urge you to try Minecraft Pocket Edition, which is also available in this store. The game, however, is not a copy of Minecraft. It takes cer certain ideas from it, expands on them, and introduces concepts of its own into the mix. More than anything, it also pushes the boundaries of the block world genre on mobile platforms. So I thought it was a cool, a cool sort of gesture from the developer to say, hey, yeah, we basically took this idea from Minecraft. Go check out Minecraft if you haven't already. I thought that was a pretty cool thing for them to do. And also then to say, hey, and we're, we're actually trying to improve upon the idea and come up with our own ideas as well. So... Let's check this thing out. Uh, we do have several options here on the main menu. I want to look at the settings real quick and see what's in here. Um, let's see. Performance. Wow, there's actually a ton of settings in here. Camera view angle. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to leave that on normal for now. Leave everything as it is at the start. User interface. You can change the UI. Set. Wow, okay. So there's a lot of options in here. Uh, download more tech. You can actually download different block textures. That's pretty cool. Uh, you notice this get content button over here. It does actually have uh, like community content. So if I pull this up here real quick, you can see these are actually different worlds that people have made uh, and uploaded onto uh, like a central server somewhere. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it has a fully featured help section and more importantly, it has an actual list of recipes. So there you can start to see the blocks, but it has a list of recipes in here, which is good because I somewhat doubt there is a fully featured, well, there might be actually, but uh, getting to a fully featured wiki would be kind of a pain if you're already like on the go somewhere and playing the game. Uh, it'd just be annoying to have to uh, switch out to load up your web browser. But let's jump in here. Uh, new world. Enter world name Masbanim. All right. We'll make a random world game mode. Challenging, cruel, creative, harmless. Okay, so let's let's actually read through this. So harmless. In harmless mode, almost all dangers removed from the game. The animals will not attack unprovoked. Falls are less deadly. Health regeneration is very quick. Digging is 25% faster. Challenging. Normal survival mode, there's danger, but you'll be able to respawn at your last sleep position when you die. And cruel, same as challenging, but you will not be able to respawn. Interesting. And then creative mode. Infinite supply of all items and all blocks can be mined infinitely fast. You are also immortal and can fly. All right, well, let's go with challenging because uh, I believe that will give us the most normal feel here. It's going to go ahead and generate a world for us. I really wish there was some sort of ambient sound here so it's not just me talking. All right, oh, what's this? Way anchor, boys. We actually have an intro sequence. The very, very blocky intro sequence. And you there on the shore. Oh, is that me? Remember, we won't be back for you. Oh, I've been marooned. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, let's... What was that? Let's look around over here. So, here I am now on an island. Uh, I'm apparently pretty much just playing Minecraft. I am noticing... Oh, can I kill that? I don't actually know how to fight things yet. We'll have to figure that out here soon. One thing I immediately noticed, uh, again, comparing to Minecraft Pocket Edition, is that these blocks are actually transparent. Uh, I don't believe they are in the Minecraft Pocket Edition. 
I am going to try and find the... That's the help. That's not what I want. I, I think I just accidentally took a picture of my world. There we go. What's that? Oh, third-person camera. Orbit camera. It's interesting. I would like to find the options. Where would the options be? That's my inventory. Sneak mode. Oops, and that set me out here. You managed to stay alive for 0 0.1 days. Awesome. I want to turn up the move and look sensitivity just a little bit. Because that was a bit... All right, there we go. All right, that's a bit better. Well then, let's uh, let's punch a tree. Sup, tree? How you doing? So I just hold, I tap and hold on the block to punch it. There we go. That <laughs> that does not sound like punching a tree. For the record, that sounds a little bit like fapping. Like, some sort of weird, violent fapping. So, so far, yeah, this is... This is pretty much just Minecraft. I can actually jump, apparently. Whoa. Is that a dog? Thought I heard a dog somewhere. Well, maybe let's... Maybe let's explore a little bit. I've, I've successfully punched a tree. So maybe let's explore a little bit here. Ooh, we've got a cave. What? What am I hearing? That sounds like a bear. Why do I feel like I'm about to get attacked? Oh, there's a cow over here. Some pumpkins. Oh, it is a bear! Ah! No, no, no. Mr. Bear, I don't want any. You you stay over there, Mr. Bear. I'm gonna check out this cave, I think. Is there more bears underneath me? Is this a bear cave? It's down here. Oh, it is a bear cave. I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> the bears are yelling at me. Let's... Let's let's leave the bears in their bear cave alone. We'll head over this way. So that's cool that it will actually like allow bears to live in caves. I apparently found an egg. Oh, I took some fall damage. Well, let's find a place to start building a house or something. A good place to build a house around here. Another... Was that a bear? Yeah, it's another bear over there. Let's find a place where there aren't any bears to build a house. Lots of vegetation around, I'm noticing. Like a ton. Is that another... Jesus, so many bears! Welcomes to Bearcraft. There's a bunch of cows over here. Sup, cows? Oh, that's a bull. I'm afraid of him. He has horns. Alright, well, it's now starting to rain. So far, I've done nothing but wander around. This was honestly usually part of my, like, some of my favorite parts of Minecraft, though, is always just wandering around trying to find a good place to set up camp. Got a nice little pool here. This might be a good spot. Right here. There's a dog up over there. Probably a wolf. Jesus. That's some loud thunder. Hello, Mr. Puppy Dog. Are we friends? Would you like to be my friend? Mr. Oh, Jesus. No, you do not want to be my friend. Ah. Beat him with sticks. No, Puppy Dog. Stop. I never wanted this. Ugh. Damn. Hate you, puppy dog. Also, I apparently placed a block in the middle of that. Is 
so uh, this just in. I hate dogs. All right. I'm not sold on this place for... What is that? A duck? I, I don't trust the duck now. Damn it. Okay, so one thing that is kind of annoying is you just tap on a specific spot to place a block. Which is kind of frustrating because... I keep, like, randomly tapping on places trying to tap a look instead. Jesus. Very loud thunder. Alright, well, let's... Continue in our search for a good location to set up base camp. Not in the snow. Don't really care too much for the snow. There's another dog. Stay away from the stupid dogs. How about a... Nice, cozy beach home. We'll go for that. Over here in the sand. Where it will also probably not be raining. Yeah, in fact, it is not raining over here. Alright. This will be where we start our new civilization. I'd like to be a little bit closer to... Wow, there's... Lots of desert over here. Alright, well. Apparently still raining everywhere around me. Let's build some place that's at least a little bit close to some trees. I guess over here will work. Some sort of goose or something. What is that over there? More freaking dogs. Just dogs everywhere. Alright, well, we're gonna come... Uh, let's just quit screwing around trying to find the optimal location. Let's pick up this egg for some reason. Oh, I wonder if I can eat the egg. Can I... I can throw the egg, apparently. Oh, I threw it. Is there no way for me to eat it? Apparently not. Alright. Let's open up the crafting thing. Let's see about... Yeah, there we go. Making some... Oh, that's nice. It doesn't force me to take each individual one. Although, that could be frustrating if I if I want to not take each individual one at some point. Um, how can I... I want to find a way to split these. How do I do that? It's not a multi-touch thing. Alright, well, let's find... Let's open up the help. Um, crafting. Oh, splitting stacks of items. There we go. Press and hold the slot containing the stack you want to split for about one second. A red border will appear around it. The slot is now in splitting mode. Tap any other empty slot and one item will be taken. Place in the tap slot. Quickly spread items from one stack to multiple slots in a crafting table. Okay. Let's try that again. So, quick and hold. Oh, okay. It turns red and now I can do like this. And make myself a crafting table. So it does seem to follow basically the same conventions as, um, whoops, that was not what I wanted, as uh, Minecraft. Uh oh, starting to get dark. Gonna need to build ourselves some cover here very, very soon. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna put down the crafting table and I'm starting to become afraid. So let's, real quick, we will build something resembling a house. I may have built this a little bit too wide. I may not survive the night. Need more wood. Excuse me, Mr. Tree. I need you. I don't think I can defend myself with just eggs. Maybe see about making myself a sword or something, too. Man, it's getting really dark really fast here. Oh, I apparently got a bit of leaves or something. Wow, it is ridiculously dark. I can barely even see. Uh, and I do not think I have a way to make any 
I'm going to get eaten by dogs. I'm going to get eaten by dogs. I am going to die to getting eaten by dogs. Shut up, dogs. Okay. Well, let's... Do that. Um, drag this down here. Shut up, dogs. I'm scared. Make myself a little... Oh, there's one, like, right over there. What are you? Oh, you're a duck. Never mind. Ducks I don't care about. Oh, I actually screwed up this corner a little bit. Again, because... Shut up, dogs! I don't see them. I think I might be safe for now. I'm just hearing them. I have a... a small wall that I've built myself here. For safety. Let's go ahead and use this. I need to... Is that how I make sticks? Yes, it is. Okay. And I believe... I do like this, and then that. It appears to be a machete. Alright. Now I can at least defend myself. Close that down. Alright. Well, let's continue building the house. I managed to screw up my corner here a little bit, but whatever. No big. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and man, there's. I need a way to eat food or something to get health back. I can't actually see very well, so I don't know if I'm about to get eaten by a dog. I only have one health. Um, guys, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna get eaten by a dog. Well, I need more wood. So I'm gonna venture back up over here. Search for dogs. Don't see any. Continue to punch this tree. Really hard to see. Furious fapping. The dog stopped. I'm scared. Does that mean they're hunting me? Oh, okay, they started again. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna want to figure out is how to make like a torch or something. Shut up, dogs! Why did I just hear water splash? There's no water around here. Where's the dogs? I see them. Quickly! We must barricade the door! Finish building the wall. I don't know what that sound was a second ago. Oh, apparently the thing makes sounds when I jump on it. Alright. We will stand here, and we will wait for daylight. Let's actually, um, holy crap, shut up. Let's see if we can't find, like, a torch or something in here. Match? No, it's used to start fires. Right? Yeah. Need, that's food, weapons, electrics. So it does have a full electric system like Minecraft does. That's cool. 
looking for ah torch okay it's just coal and a stick right oops wrong button yeah coal and a stick but i actually need to get coal for that to happen i may have spent a little bit too much time uh well, there's a duck egg i don't know how that works though may have spent a little bit too much time punching trees need to be spending more time uh Digging for coal and stuff. But I'm feeling safe here in my... My house now. I'm not feeling very safe anymore in my house here. This is a very long night. Hurry up, night. I want to get back to the daytime. Oh god, the dogs are coming. I swear to god, dogs, if you come over here, I'm going to cut you with my... Wooden machete. Sound like one was mad at me. I'm scared. There's dogs everywhere. They want to bite me. I've only got one health. So, so far the game feels very, very much like the original Minecraft. I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit. Dogs and all. They seem to have dogs instead of zombies. There they are. Go away, dogs. Wait, what is that? Is that, a, is that just that duck? I thought I saw a zombie. Stay up here. If I fall outside this wall, I'm probably just going to die. I'm afraid. Afraid for my life. What is that? Oh, that's those cactuses from earlier. There's one over there now. There's dogs everywhere. I apparently picked a good place, though, because they don't seem to be spending too much time out here in the desert. They are not coyotes. They are just dogs. I really want it to be daytime, though, so I can go actually, like, explore some more again. Not that I have a problem with holding up for the night. It just doesn't really make good... Doesn't really make good television, you know? Maybe just in the interest of having a better episode, I will just fast forward through some of this footage and we will get to when it's daylight again. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Go away, dog. Scared. It's starting to get light out. Hurry up, light. Chase away the dogs. That's really loud. I'm very scared. No, 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 no. Oh, they're definitely coming after me. Uh. Haha! -ha! I win, dogs. I hope I win. I hope the dogs can't jump. Because I only have one health. The dog is gone. Oh, there it is. Go away, dog. No, I don't. I don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> Take a fall damage. Well, uh, so I have penned myself into my own certain death.
fantastic. And the dogs are not leaving. Also fantastic. There's a pig over there. That dog has left. I don't know where the other one went. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, I'm fine. All right. Well, let's let's get back into the house. The half house that we built here. Maybe we will find a dog. Nice wall to dig into or something. Maybe we'll maybe we'll dig inside of this. I want to get a little bit more wood. Damn it. Another one over there. I just want a little bit more wood to build a pickaxe. Any second now, I'm just going to get bit in the ass. Alright, good enough. Come up over here. We're going to wall ourselves back in. Go ahead and make some more planks. Uh, let's grab this thing here. Um, whoops, did that wrong. There we go, pickaxe. And good enough for now. Let me make some more sticks real quick. All right. And how about a shovel, actually? Oops. Don't know why that's there. Don't know why I care about leaves. Alright, good enough. Let's start the digging. Oh, it digs much faster. Alright, well. It's time to embrace my destiny as a miner, because I'm afraid of everything that's above the ground. Hopefully eventually I get to some stone or something. Not a bad game, honestly. It's playing pretty well. Oh, really? Ah, uh, stupid sand. Alright, well, we're going to dig this way then. Or is that way no go? We will keep digging down the path of... Damn. It's just sand everywhere. Alright, well, I guess I'm... Oh, you know what I can do is I can go put my inventory here. Dirt to the dirt. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. I'll dig through some of this sand. And then, whoops. Fill in with dirt. So now I can dig down through the sand. And I'll have to keep digging like that. Unless I can find more places like this. Hmm. My my plan to dig down through the sands may have been a poor one. But whatever. At the very least getting to see ooh. Actually we did find some rock finally. So let's this. Very 
Very nice. Rock. What kind of rock was it that I got? Not actually sure. Basalt. Interesting. Um that I think that's just sand there. So let's, let's dig into this sand real quick. We'll fill in above us with Oh, what is that? Is that sandstone? I do believe it is. All right. So we'll fill in above us with some of that. And now we can start to dig down. Really wishing I had some, uh, I guess I'll go this way, some coal to make torches with. It's looking like I've managed to find an area where it's just rock at least, which is important. So the mining feels pretty good. The building uh, is obviously pretty good. I've been doing a lot of that so far. The crafting is pretty good. I, I've managed to hold myself in here. In order to get back out, I gotta... There we go. Honestly, I'm impressed. Honestly, this is not bad at all. Uh, it's obviously a knockoff, but it's not a bad one. It's pretty good, actually. So... Maybe I will, before I do any more digging, I'm probably going to play some more of this for sure. Just in some free time. It seems like a good game just to, I mean, it's Minecraft, right? But it's Minecraft on my phone. Apparently, they've also said uh, that there's a way to uh, use, like, key controls. So I'm wondering if there's a way to set this up with my MOGA controller to be able to play that way. That'd be pretty cool. Jesus, dogs everywhere. Let's go off on a... Adventure here, see if there's anything else we can find. Oh, what's this? Other than a bunch of dogs. And ducks. Looks like some sort of... Something over there. I don't want to get too close, because dogs. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and... We'll stop here real quick. Ooh, quit. Uh, hopefully that saved that. Yes, it did. Cool. Let's check out some of the community content here real quick. Just because I want to see how this goes. Let's check, uh, what's a good one to check out here? Um, castle. That sounds good. Oh, here we go. Mario. Oh, that's a blocks texture. I see. World. Let's check out the castle. Downloading castle. Okay, so do I go to single player? Oh, castle, there it is. Play. Let's see what this guy made. Already there's dogs! Already with the dogs! Why are there so many dogs in this game? Let's go upstairs, okay. So scared. It's like some sort of survival horror thing it made. This guy made something scary. Alright, well that... That upstairs didn't work. What's up here? You need this. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Diamond Edge Machete. Alright. So this guy actually made like an adventure? Over here. Oh, damn. Fight these things. Get away, bear! Ah! Okay, successfully fought those off. 
Guess I need to push the button. I don't know what that did. In here. Oh god. It's like a polar bear or something. What what did that button do? Try to get in. Okay. So I hit that button. About here. Oh no, more dogs. So this is actually pretty cool. Uh, but I need to figure out... Okay, apparently outside doesn't matter. So let's quit screwing around outside. Better stay over there, dog. I got a machete. Alright, so there's got to be a way to go down. I went up here, but there didn't seem to be anything... Oh wait, there's this. It's this here. Oh, there's a button here. Oh no. Okay, what's that? Uh... Ah! I got eaten by a dog. Damn it. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching this... No, stop with it eating me. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Survival Craft. It's available for uh, $3.99 on both I or excuse me, both Android and the Windows Phone on uh, Windows Phone 7, I guess, is out now. I don't even remember whatever Windows Phone is up to nowadays, but it's on Windows Phone and uh, and Android, not yet on uh, iOS, unfortunately, but it is $3.99. Pretty good game, honestly. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. The fact that that like that community content thing, uh, the fact that people can do stuff like that with this is actually pretty awesome for a mobile device, uh, and it really seems to honestly give a fuller Minecraft experience than Minecraft Pocket uh, Pocket Edition does. So, I'm definitely giving this one major points. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it. Let's see here. I'm gonna give it a four. Uh, I'm just knocking off one finger because uh, it is kind of a kind of a ripoff. Uh, not really too original. It just like I, I wasn't seeing much of the we added new stuff sort of thing. Uh, maybe the, maybe they're getting the content thing, but honestly, that's that's a that's a half. That's like a four and a half. That's like a a halfway extended pinky finger. I'm honestly really really impressed with this title. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I uh, hope you guys will enjoy it too if you check it out. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you guys later.